All right, welcome to the Savvy Producer. Um, I'm here uh, with Austin, and I was talking to Austin here for a minute about his success and his experience in the business so far. Um, I love helping out new agents and giving them a path to make it in this business. It is a tough business to be in, and you do have to have reliable resources and support uh, for that to happen for you. So, and it, and it doesn't work for, out for everybody. You know, some people come into this business excited and ready to go and a little too afraid to get on the phone. But if you can get past that fear and get uncomfortable, you can make it happen and follow instructions. So if you go out there trying to recreate the wheel and do things on your own and not have feedback and steps to make the most of your time in this business and your money too, your upfront investment, uh, you're gonna have a difficult time a lot, uh, most of the time. So we got Austin here, Austin Cravens. What's up, buddy? How's it going? Good to be here. You too, man. Yeah. Um, so I just wanted to bring you on here and uh, just, you know, hear a little bit about, you know, what's happened for you uh, so far, you know, working with uh, the Savvy Producer Program and, you know, just what what's worked for you and how your experience has been. How long ago did you get your license? Let's start there. <laughs> yeah, so I got I got licensed uh, close to close to about two and a half, three years ago. It was September of 2020. Um, okay. And so I did, I did a lot of, I did a lot of car and home insurance um, uh -huh. up through that point. And I've only been specifically doing life insurance for a few months now. So even though I've been doing, I've been doing insurance for a couple of years, life insurance specifically is fairly new to me. Gotcha. So you're doing a home and auto. You did, did that work out for you a little bit? I mean, how did, how did you feel about the, the two, like life insurance and PNC? Yeah, I, I think the, the car and home insurance need is always going to be there because that's something people have to have, obviously. Right. So with car and home insurance, it's much more of a transactional conversation. You know, if you've, uh -huh. if you've got the, what's, what's my quote? Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah you're the quote guy you're the quote guy you're the, you're the quote guy yeah yeah and with with life insurance it's much more of a emotional conversation it's yeah. you know it's people wanting to protect their families and it's a little more in-depth conversation so it's it's definitely different styles of conversation mm -hmm. but i think uh i definitely think the life insurance is a much more rewarding type of feeling you know get saving saving someone a couple bucks on their car insurance is all right but it's yeah. uh you feel like you know. you're making a difference <laughs> absolutely definitely yeah that's awesome yeah doing it doing it for so many years you will run into those situations like where you're getting a email or phone call from a beneficiary and you're like oh no that person passed and then you're helping them out and trying to get their claim put in and yeah and then it puts a smile you know on their face to know that the financial aspect will be helped out you know unfortunately won't help out what happened but you know that definitely makes a difference um so cool so you you started doing some life insurance a couple of months ago yeah um close close to six months ago and mm -hmm. it's been a honestly it's it was a it's been an ongoing process of trying to find the right place to go trying to find the right people to contact and it's and getting getting started in this business is super hard because there's so many there's so many different places offering these great incentives and the ability Please. to be successful and you're you're taking people's word for it and it's it can it's kind of a coin flip and fortunately yeah. now i feel I feel like I've finally hit the, the right, the right place at the right time. So awesome. Uh, yeah. I mean, that's, that's what I'm kind of getting from a lot of folks who are reaching out to me. Like, you know, when you see a, a bigger group have more exposure, that's usually what captures most people, you know, coming into this, you know, the videos and the, this and that, and per, you know, putting numbers up, you don't know if they're real or not. And you know, how, 
how truthful someone's being when you're talking to them about what they're offering. And here you are, you know, completely vulnerable with your couple of thousand bucks getting into starting your own business. And, you know, you have a limited time and belief of this working out for you. And um, sometimes it can end up really bad for people. And then they're over here trying to pedal out of it. And it makes it much more difficult to get traction again and get it going. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's it can be be scary and you have to do some research at first. Um, you know, look at watch videos, talk to people. I mean, that's what I would best recommend is get out there and talk to as many groups as possible to see what, you know, they have to offer and make sure it aligns with what you're doing and then ask for specifics, not like yeah, we got leads, you know, how are you getting your leads? You know, how are you, how are you doing your marketing? Is there enough? You know, that's a big thing. Yeah, we have leads and we have plenty of, you know, not, they're thinking back of their mind. Yeah, we have plenty of second chance leads for you. Um, but you got to make sure you're reaching out, you know, and asking these specific questions and make sure you're making the right move. So you don't put yourself in a predicament. But um, so you have gone into doing life insurance now and you just joined us like uh you know savvy producer program two weeks ago something like that something like or that three, yeah. yeah two three weeks ago and then you did we're having to work around some of the contracts that you have tied up in the moment um so picked up a few um you know to to get going with the program that you're doing and you had just did a little bit of training uh the last week and then you finish up some training this week and then you when did you get on the phones this week yeah so yeah like like you mentioned i got onboarded here a couple weeks ago oh. and getting getting the contracts all ready to go it was it was about sometime a little earlier this week that i was fully up and running and oh. i hit the phones i hit the phones two Today's Friday. Uh, I hit the phones on Wednesday, two days ago, and it has been it's been a crazy forty eight hours to, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, you've, you've done really well. Uh, to give a little context to this. Uh, you're doing telesales, right? Nothing right. but phone. Okay, and it's life insurance. Um, I know you're looking to do a mix of mortgage protection and final expense. Um, and so you bought how many leads did you buy back? on Wednesday or did you probably put your order in last I think it was last Friday wasn't it yep it was late last week and got got fully ready to go just a few days ago and yeah. I bought I bought 50 leads and I've I've not even I've not even went through all 50 leads yet and I've already had really great success with everything yeah what, what did you what did you write so far it was it Wednesday Thursday and today so Maybe. yeah within Within technically like a thirty-six hour window, I've made a, I've made right at four thousand dollars. Nice. So, I mean, as far as like production, you put up like annualized premium. Um, do you remember An how much? Annualized, pre annualized premium. I've I've put up around forty-seven hundred. Mm -hmm. And as far as you know, being complete like transparent of like what's actually went to me is mm -hmm. like right around four thousand dollars so it's nice it's been it's been how many leads did you buy for that it was it was 50 leads and i think i've i I've mean how many did you go through yeah for that so so far maybe around 25 25 yeah yeah is there i think they're real time and so you've they're coming in you know in, in small batches to get them on the get them right there while they're inquiring about some life insurance nice yeah they're they're fresh and they are i mean majority are high intent so it's it's that's been, awesome it's been good yeah you probably got a hold of what 60 percent of them 70 so far of that 25 leads yeah 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 okay and then you're um so out of your 4700 how many apps is that was it three or four that's three three applications three applications and another another one here on the way so nice in, yeah. in addition to the 4700 
<laughs> well, you, yeah, you had the uh, you had the one yeah the one app that was twenty eight hundred and something, and then one was fifteen hundred AP. And what was that third one that you had? That was the third one was a little over twenty eight hundred. I'm thinking it was probably more than forty seven hundred because it was you had the one that was fifteen hundred AP, the twenty eight hundred, and that third one. So to be safe, let's say forty seven hundred. And then you have that one that you'll be picking up as a fourth app in your first three days. So regardless, right. I mean, that's awesome. I'm proud of you, dude. Yeah. And you're just, you're following the script and just putting your own spin on it. I think you said, you know, making yeah, it sound yeah. more natural. Yeah. I've, I've, I've taken the pretty much the baseline of what the script I was provided was and just try and, try and put things in my own words to just you know not not sound like a robot you know it's yeah every everyone <laughs> everyone is their own style so i just yeah try don't, to don't sound like me all right don't sound like me on the phone <laughs> this program I've, I've, has in i've it yet to say this is jason Rick benefits so, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> to, so uh, <laughs> uh give a, a little inflection right um so yeah you want to make sure that you um you know put your own spin to make the make it more make it fluid you know and right. make it sound more natural and have a conversation with them they're human you know and there's it never 100 percent goes as script so you got to understand what's in that script and hit the key points and keep it to a conversation is what usually works best because you yeah. start sounding scripted and then, then you start sounding salesy and then walls go up and then it's they're not even listening to you at that point they're just like how can i get off the phone with this person you know i got the rate uh, let me think about it so you got to connect with them and uh that's what usually has worked best for me um so you you're using like like how do you like the tools do, are you you're using a crm that has the phone built into it that's keeping things easy for you the, C the crm and the systems are have been super easy we have yeah. using using the phone system to to contact the leads you need to contact mm -hmm. and it's i mean it's pretty it's pretty well click and dial click and dial and yeah. have have pretty good conversations well, what, what, so it's, what, when are you calling like what part of the day uh, I've, I mean, I've been, I've been getting into a lot of lengthy conversations, which, which I guess is good. Um, you know, I've, I spoke with one of the, one of the sales I had yesterday, I spoke with the lady for like three hours. Um, so it was, it was a pretty good, it was a good conversation. She was a, she was a, she was a talker. <laughs> she was a talker. She was, we, and we I was a talker. Those chatty so, Cathy's. <laughs> yeah. Chatty Cathy's. Yeah. <laughs> So cool. Well, I mean, that's what it's about, you know, connecting with them. And if that, and that's what, you know, you're there for them and, you know, you, you can help out other people besides her and her family, you know, if you're, you know, give them good, good service and, you know, that can exponentially uh, help with your return on your investment and protect more families. So yeah, absolutely. Take your time with these folks. Don't rush through it. I mean, sometimes I have to stop myself from going through because I'll have my calendar so packed. You know, I'll go through the appointments pretty quick sometimes and I have to like remind myself to slow down and remember to connect with them, not just get that rate out and see if they'll close. So, yeah, so that's great, man. Um, you know, it's at this point, you know, what I would recommend is just keeping it consistent, grab that traction and, you know, show up every day, um, you know, get your... And we've already been on with this, but yeah, get get the activity in, keep track of it. Consistency is key, um, and follow the follow the methods that we've talked about, and you know keep that you know constant investment into purchasing leads, so you can make sure your income can stay as more consistent. And I mean, we talked we talked about what it looks like to bring in you know netting you know twenty five thousand dollars each month. So what you need to do in production to, after expenses, what you're taking home and putting in your checking account. So and that's totally feasible. You know, you're you're on the right track. 
Um, and all you gotta do is just stay consistent with that and then slowly scale it. But yeah, you gotta have good resources and keep things organized with a good CRM and and uh, always you know make sure that you stay on top of your leads and things are, you got a good source. And that's why I recommend everyone is just make sure you have a good source of leads and you know the, the services and resources are there for you. Training's great, but you got to make sure that you can go out there and do it. <laughs> you know, you, you know how to do it. Now you got to need the tools. And that's what, you know, people in this business, when you reach out to them, that's got to be there, you know, for it to work for you. So cool, man. I appreciate your time. I won't, I won't drag this out and jab, jibber jabber. So, uh, oh, glad to be yeah. on here. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me. Yeah, this is good. So, um, dude, I wish the best for you, man. And, uh, you know, look forward to working with you. And, you know, if anybody needs some advice or some direction, I'd be happy to, to chat with them. Shoot me an email, uh, reach out to me on Instagram, uh, jason.richter17 uh, or jason at savvyproducer.com is my, is my email. Cool. Stay savvy.